Hello students in our previous chapter that is the earth and the graticules we studied about the latitudes and longitudes in detail since our next chapter has its roots in chapter 1 we are going to summarize in short we studied that the vertical lines on the globe are the latitudes and the horizontal lines are the longitudes a globe has an equator and a prime meridian both measured as 0 degree and they divide the earth into two equal dimensions each the net formed due to the visibility of latitudes and longitudes is called the graticule in our next chapter that is chapter 2 let us use the graticule we are going to study how exactly the graticule helps in finding out a place on the earth we already know that location of any place can be determined with the help of center of the earth and the latitudes and longitudes now when we talk about various places regions rivers roads etc we are actually talking with the reference to the earth while doing this on the globe the precise description of the location of a particular place like the extent of that region or any other feature can be done with the help of parallels and meridians let us now see how to use graticule for this purpose in this figure we see a particular area of a place is focused here we can understand that while describing the location of a place we need to consider one parallel and one meridian which is near to that location now for example we have delhi over here now the nearest latitude and meridian to delhi is 30 degree latitude and 80 degree longitude here we see that delhi is not located exactly on a parallel and a meridian but delhi is at a certain distance from them so why is it it is like that delhi is at certain units from that parallel and meridian let's take an example of a scale a scale has centimeters inscribed on it with a distance of 1 1 unit similarly the parallels and meridians has 1 1 units between them like this is a 30 degree parallel and here is the 20 degree parallel there is a distance of 1 1 unit between them so here delhi comes at a distance of 20 degree parallel and from this 80 degree meridian delhi comes at a distance of 77 degree meridian here the location of delhi is 28 degree 36 minute 50 seconds north and here 77 degree 12 minutes 3 second east i said north and east because delhi appears to be in the northern hemisphere when observed with an equator and also is located in the eastern hemisphere when observed in the prime meridian talking about the distance that is 36 minute 50 second i can say that from the 28 degree north latitude delhi is at a distance of 36 minutes and 50 seconds and the same concept goes with 12 minutes 3 second east meridian here we have a proper image of how delhi is located at the parallel and meridian now talking about describing the extent of a region that is how vast is the region we need to consider two parallels and two meridians which are at the extreme ends of that region now here we take an example of a place australia now to describe the extent of australia we need to consider the two parallels and the two meridians in which the whole of the australia resides here we have a picture of australia and we see the extreme ends of it the parallels and meridians which have australia between them are 10 degree 30 minute south and 
43 degree 39 minute south latitudes and 113 degree east and 153 degree east longitudes. Here we studied how a graticule helps in determining a location of a place.